Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install all the ranges of Reshade and how to manually install Reshade if uh, it fails to download the GitHub packages. Uh, those are the shaders. And so, yeah, if we come here and download Reshade normally, you're going to see that's version 4.9.1. But if we come here to the, to the Reshade server, uh, we're gonna have the releases tab and right here on the top you're gonna see that there's a link telling you how to download all older versions of reshade so you're just gonna paste it here and switch the access for the versions that we want so for example i want version 3.4.1 and i just click enter and it's gonna download it for me if i show it uh, you can see right here that I have version 3.4.1 and 3.9. So the game that we're going to install Reshade to is Verlet Swing. So I'm going to go to Properties, Local Files, and Browse. And right here is the game folder. Uh, many people ask me if how to, do, how to install Reshade on a specific game. Uh, Reshade is very generic. So this process that I'm doing right here, it's the same for every game that you... That you might have some issues installing reshade too so if if it's like for example uh, uh epic game an epic launcher game you don't have uh, the steam shortcut for you to to point it to you to the game you just click on uh you just navigate to where your game is installed and it should be uh right here for example it's uh very let's swing so it's the v uh, Ver, let's swing this is over here. Yep, there we go. So just navigate to the game that you want, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna install Reshade version 4.9.1, and yeah, you could click on Browse, and you go to where your game is installed. Steam apps, come on, Ver, let's swing, and click here, and click open. So here is DirectX. Since the game is DirectX 11, you're gonna click on here. And we select the packages like normally, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, reshade is installed. But for example, if you wanna install reshade to another version and sometimes the download fail, you can, for example, just install it normally, select game for let's swing, click OK, click in direct text, and it's gonna ask if you wanna uh, override the installation. You click yes, you click yes again, and it's gonna download the shaders. And since I already had some shaders there, it's just gonna replace the ones that are just gonna download the ones that I didn't have and click OK. And it should be installed like normal. So if we open the game, we can see Reshade 3.4.1. So, and it tells you that there's a, there's a new version. Uh, some shaders fail to, oh, there we go, fail to compile. Well, I click on S, click on continue, continue. So if you go to log, you're gonna see there's a lot of shaders that fail to compile. That's because they need a, a newer version of uh, Reshade to, for, for them to work. And yeah, so there you go. And if you are having like difficulties installing newer versions of Reshade, if you double click and it doesn't open or uh, GitHub is uh, reshade cannot uh, reach GitHub. Then you need to do it like this. For example, I'm gonna delete this installation right here. So the game is like there's no reshade on the game. You can see there's no message up here, and I'm not gonna double click on reshade. I'm gonna right click it and open with Ringware. And right here, you can see there's two DLLs. Those are the files that Reshade need. This is basically Reshade, the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version. And since this is a DirectX 11 game, there's a rule of thumb that if the game is DirectX 9, then it's a 32-bit game. And if it DirectX 11 or above, uh, 10 or above, it's 64-bit game. There are some exceptions like Sims 4, that's a DirectX 9 game that uses that is also a 64-bit application. But the rule rule term is DirectX 9 is a 32, DirectX 10 and above is 64. So we're gonna move this DLL here. If you don't have Ringar, you can use 7-zip or you can double click the, the installer here, hold control and click again, and it's gonna extract the, the DLLs here, the, the files here. 
those files don't need them you can delete them so yeah uh, we just drag the DLL here we place it on the game folder and we're gonna rename it to whatever the game uses since this is a DirectX 11 game we're gonna rename it to DXGI save it and if you launch the game oh, if we launch the game you're gonna see V shade is installed successfully but we don't have any shaders so how do we fix that but well uh, crosshire the creator of reshade um, he uploaded so uh, his he hosts the shaders uh, on github so if you search for crosshire uh, I'll github not me I'll github uh, we're gonna sell oh, let me just close the game real quick uh, crosshire reshade there you go if we click on his uh, profile we're gonna go to repositories and we're gonna go to reshade shaders I'm gonna leave a link to this uh, github here and you can see there's the shaders uh, and the textures so we're gonna click on code download the zip and it's gonna go right to our uh, downloads folder gonna double click it and you see right here there's the shaders and the textures this is the very 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 basic uh, install of reshade there's basically no shaders right here so when you want to install more shaders you're gonna go to our wiki Oops, wiki I'm gonna go to reshade wiki the PC gaming wiki page of reshade and we're gonna go to non shader repositories there you go and here you can find a lot more shaders for example if you're gonna if we go to suite effects there's the crosshair uh, the cj uh suite where he hosts a lot of shaders right here and the process is the same you just click on download download zip and it's gonna go right here here you can see there's a bit more shaders and okay so we have that so we're gonna just open it we're gonna create a new folder here just to keep things organized new folder i'm gonna call it reshade plus shaders you're gonna open it drop those two folders here right inside here and we're gonna go back to the game now click on home if you don't have home the home key i have a tutorial on my channel uh, showing you how to uh, you can uh, change the hotkey you're gonna go to the settings tab we're gonna go to effect effect search path i'm gonna click on the minus click on the plus and since reshade automatically picks the path for the game you're gonna see the reshade shaders folder i'm gonna double click it click on shaders and click on select same thing with the textures but this time we're gonna select the textures folder and we click on the select button we're gonna go back to the home and click on reload and there you go here we have our shaders already so yeah so, yeah don't have textures huh oh yeah oh this shader is failing to compile okay it's not detecting a texture on the textures folder but that's okay and uh, yeah so we have those few shaders right here so we're gonna install some more let me open the sweet effects one here we have the shaders and the textures folder so we're gonna go to the game folder shaders i'm gonna select them all paste right here i'm gonna go to the textures folder i'm gonna go to the textures folder just drop them right here and now we just reload boom there's more shaders here before and after taking color tints anyway if you want to install even more shaders you can you just click on the shader package that you want click on code download zip and it's gonna download the, the shaders that you want I'm gonna click here I'm gonna open since this one uh, it doesn't need the textures folder uh, you can drop it on the shaders folder uh, right here just drag and drop but if you want to keep things organized you create a new folder call it quaint and, and double click it just drop all the files in here 
Now since we created a new folder, if we reload, we're gonna, not going to find, for example, MXAO. We're going to have to go to the settings, hold, uh, settings, settings tab again, click on the plus button, click on reshade, shaders, and now select the new package and click on select. If we come here and reload, search for MXAO, there you go, we have MXAO, it's upside down. I'm going to show it show later how to... Uh, fix that and if you want to download even more shaders you can like for example full box shaders we just click on code download zip it's gonna show us like shaders and textures so we're gonna go to our game folder reshade shaders shaders now we're gonna create a new one full box oh i'm sorry full box open it drop the shaders go back to folders go to the textures folder go back here just drop the shaders here the, the textures here i'm sorry uh, go back to the game go to settings add another one click, click on shaders and full box select go to home reload and we should have the shaders here, aspect ratio, for example, aspect. There you go, and we can change the aspect ratio of the game now. Hey, so that's how you you download reshade. Ah, uh, the control, the con uh, holding control and clicking on the reshade uh, works on every version of reshade that I know of. The right click and 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 open with ringwire doesn't work with some older versions of reshade but holding control and clicking should work with every every version of reshade there we go this is the 3.4 version yeah 3.4.1 and the process is the same if you want to downgrade it you just close the game go to the game folder let's make a backup oh well, there's a lot of folders this is version 3.4.3.9 4.9 I'm sorry and we're gonna just rename it uh, reshade version 4.9.1 this will make so that reshade doesn't load so if you click here you see there's no reshade message and we're just gonna copy this DLL right here copy the file and paste it here and rename it to DXGI and when you launch the game, you're gonna see Reshade 2.4. And you can see there's a lot of, yeah. So, there's a lot of effects that won't compile. So, continue, finish, yeah. Logs, yeah, there's a lot of effects that will not compile because of the older version of Reshade. So yeah, that's how you downgrade your reshade version, how you install newer versions. If you want other versions, you can come here to this Mediafire link and you're going to see there's all the versions, uh, older versions, newer versions uh, that you will find online. Most of them work, but it's not recommended to use those versions because, of course, newer versions are more optimized, have more fixes, and general better user experience. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.